Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a static and dynamic IP addresses, guys. Guys, this is one of the most easiest concept, but few of the students will be confused in this, guys. So that is the reason why I'm just concentrating more on this topic. Okay, so basically whenever you take a system, okay, so in the initial stages, so we used to manually enter the IP addresses for it, guys. So basically each and every system will have its own unique IP address, right? Yes, because whenever you want to connect to the internet, you are required to have an IP address guys, else you cannot connect with it. And this IP address should be unique if you want to transfer and get the data. It is mandatory. Okay. Yes. So when we talk about static IPs, so static IPs are used initially, but nowadays most of them are using the dynamic IPs guys. Okay. So static IPs are nothing but whenever you take a system, you need to enter the IP address manually guys in your network, in your networks. So basically once you click on networks and you need to go to more configurations and you need to add the IP addresses, subnet masks and all those things manually, right? So that concept is nothing but the static. So here the administrator does all the thing guys. Okay. Yes. So the dynamic are nothing but without human interaction. So basically the computer, it itself makes its own IP address. So it itself select its own IP address. So that concept is nothing but dynamic. And the only thing in dynamic is that it is completely dynamic. So there is no fixed one. So today it might be one. If you restart your system, it might be new. After some hours, it might be new in that way. So it dynamically changes like with respect to time. So here we will be using a server that is called as a DHCP that is dynamic host configuration protocol server. So once this server receives this protocol, it will be generating an IP for you. So in that way, it works guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's what it is written here. So I hope everyone got some basic idea on this. Okay. So just go through the theory guys and the major advantage of a static uh, IP addressing is nothing but the, your network speed will be the constant guys. There will be no network lag or anything. Whereas if you are using dynamic, there will be a small network issues. Like it will be a bit slow when compared to static because it might change in between and your net speed might reload and all those things could happen, right? Yes. So that's the major disadvantages in both of them. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea on this. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about IP version six guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.